It's a beautiful day for a cookout, so my friends are coming over and I'm making them tamarind glazed ribs and root beer baked beans, among other things. I know, I'm such a good friend. <laughs> so for my baked beans, I've cooked up some bacon, drawn out all that fat so it's nice and crispy, and I'm just gonna pull it out of here. All right. All of these onions now go into that nice smoky fat. Good sizzle, and I'm just gonna let them sweat and soften a little. Pick up all that great flavor, a little salt, help them sweat, and give them a stir, and let them do their business. So onto the beans. My bean of choice is my cannellinis here, and I've got four cans of them, and I'm just gonna get to opening them and straining them. So about a couple tablespoons or so of tomato paste. And then some ginger garlic paste, a couple tablespoons of that. And then a little grainy mustard. And I'm just gonna let that pick up a little color, develop some flavor, especially that tomato paste and the ginger and the garlic. Cook out some of that rawness, right? Okay, so let's talk about the root beer, honey. I'm using some of that old fashioned root beer in these nice glass bottles. I love this stuff, I think, because it uses a lot of the same flavors that I use all the time with all those spices. Could that be a better sound? Don't think so. Maybe I should get three bottles, one for me to drink, two to cook with. <laughs> all right, these could go in like so. Mm, and they'll pick up all those great brown bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pot too. Don't worry if you get those, that's all good stuff. And then a little apple cider vinegar for some acid to cut through all that sweetness. Some molasses for a little extra sweetness, but this has that great depth and belly, doesn't it? There you go. And then a few spices, just a couple. I'm gonna use some red chili flake for some heat. Just a touch, just a touch. And then some garam masala, that Indian spice blend that has lots of cinnamon and cloves in it. And that will pick out some of the flavors in the root beer. So it's all copacetic. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Bacon goes in. And then the beans go in. And then I'm gonna throw this into a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes until it all thickens. Ooh. And looks delicious. And then you have to control yourself, or at least I do. Wait for your friends to come over. Don't eat it before they come over. That's not nice. My root beer baked beans. I simmer creamy cannellini beans in a homemade sweet savory barbecue sauce that starts with bacon and ends with that sweet tingly soda.